me to give a quick description or my views on polygamous relationships. Okay, yes, I agree with polygamous relationships, but not in the terms that you all probably are thinking that I agree with it on. See, polygamous relationships were originally built around building security, building an empire, building a nation of people. See, in BC, back before Christ, obviously, when you read the Bible, these kings, they have multiple wives, but it was not for any sexual desires. It was to build a nation. See, these days you have it confused. You use it for sexual exploitations or sexual desires, and that has nothing to do with it. See, my thing is, you men and some women, but very rarely women, but mostly men, you're trying to use it to benefit yourself instead of benefiting, benefiting others. See, if you brought two women together who both had really good stable jobs, plus that one man, which is the king, which is the leader, who also had a good job. You All right, so some when women object to polygamy and have a problem with it, my question is always why? You know, who has conditioned you to have an issue with that? It's the way of your ancestors. And it's not to be confused that the purpose of polygamy was for sexual exploitation purposes. It, the purpose was so that every woman had a husband, so that every child had a father, so that no woman was responsible for running an entire household on her own. The concept of your ancestors was all about nation building, survival, what makes sense, what makes sense according to nature. That that foo-foo, fee-fee, Prince Charming, my husband, sweep me off my feet type of deal is a fairy tale. And it basically means that, you know, you might have a husband, but you'll have your sisters that won't. You know, we've been conditioned to be against something that we shouldn't be. When we one of the reasons that we as women are so terrified about our man having another woman is because we think that sex is connected to love. It's not. Sex don't have nothing to do with love. It's a bodily function, like sneezing, urinating, having a BM. All those things just allow you to release yourself. But it don't really have anything to do with love unless that person decides that they have some feelings actually for that person. Now, we know it don't have nothing to do with love because that's why you can do it by yourself. To get that same feeling almost. So it's not based on that. But we as women think that, oh, if he's inside her body like he's inside mine, he loves her more than he loves me. And that's not true. Men have the capacity to love more than one woman like we as women love more than one of our children. We love all of our children the same. We don't have no best child or second best child. We love them all. The men need to take on the responsibilities of uh, three women and do it in an upright way. And I'm telling you, when a man takes on the responsibility of one or two families, now we're not talking just financial. We're talking about being the head of that family and give some direction and protection and instruction about how to, you know, protect it and how to live upright. When a man take on that, I want to let you know the last thing on his mind is sex. So you don't have to worry about that. Can that responsibility kick in? And then you don't have time for all of that laying around talking about nothing and doing nothing. Because when you have responsibility for nation building, it takes all of your energy and attention.